Uh, if you are already worried about tax time, we have the perfect person to come here and either put your mind at rest or stress you out even further. Caroline <laughs> Batista from H&R Block. Hi. Hi. Let's jump right in with um, when. Uh, I, well, I was going to jump right in with the uh, with the how how quickly and how nervous should we be about filing our taxes, but really, what is the loophole that is most often left on the table? What is the one deductible thing that most of us miss? Credits get missed because people may not be aware of what is available to them or how to claim it. So, for example, there's the children's arts amount. That's not just about painting lessons. It can be music lessons, tutoring, Boy Scouts. All of those things would qualify under that, and families can claim up to $500 per child. It's unbelievable. Like you had somebody say this to me: your child went to swimming lessons. Take that receipt, put it in your taxes. Absolutely. It's as easy as that. It seems like it couldn't possibly be that easy. So, overlooked uh, tax deductions. That's for families. Is there one for the single person or for the people without kids? Is there one like, you know, a T2200 <laughs> form comes to mind? Mm, well, medical expenses comes to my mind. That's a very large umbrella that people often don't know what's underneath it. Uh, for example, if you buy travel medical insurance or if you pay for extended health premiums through your work, those are things that you can claim as a medical expense. Oh, those, those add up too. And can you carry them from year to year if you've got a small one this year? Medical, next year? medical expenses need to be claimed in a 12-month period, Good but it know. can be on a slightly sliding scale. Okay. Unlike charitable donations, you can build those up for six years and claim them all at once, and that gives you way more bang for your buck. Okay, good to know as well. Let's talk about T4 slips and, and how people gather their slips together. Some people I know think, oh, well, you know what, I'm just going to leave this slip over here. I don't need, I think everyone doesn't need to know about that little bit of freelance work. No, oh, exactly. Of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do, because our system is based on an honest declaration of your worldwide income. So if you fail to report some income, when that comes up, there are penalties and interest attributed to that and if it happens a second time those penalties and interest double. Okay let's talk about penalties and interest because there are people who think oh I don't need to file taxes this year. Huh? <laughs> Which is kind of true if they don't owe anything. That is true. Technically if you're expecting a refund you do not need to file on time, by the date. But it's always better to keep up to date because if for example something comes up and then you do owe that year those penalties and interest will go back to the year that they were to have been filed. A retro. Yeah. Wow, that is something. Okay, so um, your advice to making tax time as stress-free free as possible, pretty common sense, gather your slips, mm -hmm. but also receipts and all of the other things. I climb around and get the shoe box out and do the whole thing. There's a really much easier way to do this. A much easier way would be to have a dedicated envelope or at our house we have a drawer by the front door. So when I come home, if I've been to the dentist or I have any types of receipts or something comes in the mail, I put it all in that drawer. And then around this time of year, I open up the drawer and go through it all and I've got everything right there. And don't leave it to the last minute, as tempting as that is. That is. And if you don't know how to navigate your way through all of what is that government speak on our tax forms, you can go to someone like H&R Block and Absolutely. have them prepare your tax return. H&RBlock.ca is the website. Caroline Batista will be taking your questions at mm -hmm. Caroline underscore HRB if you've got a question for her or you can uh, check you out on Facebook. Is that this one? Absolutely. That's Twitter. So Twitter or Facebook, check it out. H&R Block, a great way to uh, understand and navigate the tax process because it is the season. <laughs> Thank you for this, Caroline.